好，佢去到二十三條咧，就問我哋下面 A、B、C、D 啦，邊一個咧係有最多嘅線粒體嘅？咁其實呢一條題目咧，同我哋一二年嘅題目差不多㗎，就係、是、講翻咧細胞同佢嗰個。energetics 啊，即係佢個需要嘅能量咧嘅一個關係嘅。咁呢條題目咧，其實都係考翻我哋啦。mitochondria 有咩咁特別啫？啊，有多啲嘅 mitochondria 又有咩意思咧？咁 mitochondria 攞嚟做 respiration 啦。咁若果啦，佢係有最高密度嘅 mitochondria 嘅話啦，咁即係話佢嘅 respiration 咧嘅速度應該零舍高啦，亦即係代表住咧佢係需要多啲嘅能量啦。咁即係代表住我哋要揀嘅 A、B、C、D 呢，邊一個嘅細胞呢？佢係有最高嘅能量需求嘅。咁 A 呢，其實就已經係答案啦，因為呢 root hair cell， 你話 root 唔係吸水嘅啫咩兩常？咁但係 root 呢，唔單止就係吸水㗎嘛，仲有吸 minerals 嘅。而吸 minerals 呢，其中一個方法呢，就係 active transport 啦。咁 active transport 係需要有能量㗎嘛，係咪？佢能量需求都係高嘅。咁所以啦 ，root hair cell 咧就已經係答案。跟住啦，去到 B 啦，葉嘅表皮細胞就當然唔會係答案啦，因為啦，佢又係透明嘅，咁佢有少量嘅 mitochondria 咧去生存就已經足夠啦。好，跟住 C、D 咧都係講葉肉細胞嘅，咁唔難理解啦。呢兩款細胞咧主要功能咧就係 photosynthesis。咁光合作用啦，需要嘅係啲咩嘅 molecule 咧？水啦。同埋二氧化碳啦，咁呢兩款嘢啦，一係咧就係滲透咧就入去個 cell 啦，一係咧就係擴散入去個 cell 啦。咁呢兩款嘅過程都係唔需要能量噶嘛，佢需唔需要零舍多嘅線粒體去做個主動運輸，去吸水同埋吸二氧化碳咧，係唔需要嘅。咁所以啦，佢哋亦都唔需要一個較為高嘅能量嘅負擔。咁所以啦 ，C、D 都係錯嘅。而如果啦呢一條題目咧，我轉少少，佢唔再問 mitochondria 啦。佢就問咧 c o r o p l u s 葉綠體嘅話啦，咁你又要揀試下揀下答案咯喎。咁 A、B、C、D 邊個有最多嘅 c o r o p l u s 咧？咁答案咧就係、是、Palisade mesophyll cells。So question twenty three is asking which of the following cell types has the highest density of the mitochondria? So first of all, we need to recall the function of the mitochondria. It is responsible for the respiration, and if there are more mitochondria in the cells, it means that there will be higher rate of respiration, and there will be more energy released in the cells. So that's why for the whole question, what we need to recall should be A, B, C, D, which cell type they have a higher energy demand, and also why. And actually, for the whole question twenty three is very similar to the two hundred one two MC question. It's also talking about the cells and the energetics. So that means how can they get the energy? So for the options, one, two, three, say, and we go back to the question, and then one, two, three, say, and also why. And actually, for the whole question twenty three is very similar to the two hundred one two MC question. Is also talking about the cells and the energetics. So that means how can they get the energy? So let's go back to the options. Option A, root hair cells, is already the answer. You may think the root is responsible for absorbing water, Mister Liang, and water is just osmosis. And osmosis, it doesn't require energy, right? The root hair cell, they also need to absorb the minerals. The root hair cell do not only absorb them by diffusion, but also active transport. So that's why they really need energy to perform active transport, right? So that's why the energy demand of the root hair cell is really high. So that's why A is already the answer. So for the leaf epidermal cells, actually, it's even transparent. For this cell, it doesn't have a specific function. So that's why, do they have mitochondria? Yes, they have, but they do not need a high density of mitochondria. And then for option C and D, both of them are the mesophyll cells. And for the mesophyll cells, of course, we need to recall their basic function is photosynthesis. And for the photosynthesis, what do they need? And actually, those molecules they go into the cell by osmosis and diffusion. So these two processes they do not require energy. So that's why they do not need a high density of mitochondria to release energy and for active transport to uptake those molecules. So that's why both of them are wrong. And I would like to change it a bit. So what if this question it doesn't ask about the mitochondria? So, which of the following cell type has the highest density of the corpus? And the answer will be parasite mesophyll cells.